God just gave his best to us. Let us use his best for a good purpose and for a good reason. Amen. 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 Thank you, man of God. Um, Pastor Ashton Major, yes. um, I want you to take on this subject as well because I wanted to go to something else, but I, I want to hear your part as well because mm -hmm. the church has missed its role. Honestly. Yes. You know, uh, um, like our minister said, things have been brought into the church. And I always say the leadership is very important in any church. Yes. Where you see the pastor is the only head of the church. That church has missed the road, mm -hmm. as far as I know. Mm -hmm. They always have to be the elders. Mm -hmm. Even in the Bible, they have the elders. Mm -hmm. And they have the, the, the... Even when they had Paul and Timothy and all those guys, they still have the elders mm -hmm. in the church. Those elders are there to call you to order or to, to... If you're going the wrong way, they can say, Papa, no. Mama, no. But now... It's the, the one man show. show. It's one man show. Yeah, it's a one man show now. Yeah. A one woman show. <laughs> I I don't I don't think prophets should have a church. They shouldn't, because in the Bible the prophets didn't have a church. Never they they God sent them. They come and do their work and they go back. But now those small prophets, those guys, everybody now is God. Every place you pass, there's a church. Ten members, five members, eight, fifteen, everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the big ones are supposed to live by example. They are even going the other way around. I don't even know where they are going. What is your take on the, on the church missing its role? You know, when we look at this subject, we're looking at a broad thing, uh, especially in the current church. Mm. So there are a few points that I'm going to touch um, and we see where we are missing. Mm -hmm. First of all, you mentioned something about the once men show, like what mm. we're seeing now. Yeah, the that everything yeah. is centralized mm -hmm. on the men of God. Yeah. If we look in 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 the days of the apostles, mm -hmm. there was a time where issues were arising within the widows and whatever. Mm -hmm. And then the apostles came together and they said, you know what? We are going to set up a committee that will look mm -hmm. after these yeah. things, mm -hmm. that will look at this charity, mm -hmm. looking after this and this and this. Mm -hmm. And ourselves who commit unto the word and prayer mm -hmm. because this is our ministry mm -hmm. but if you look into what's happening in church now is the man of god is the head of the merchandise mm -hmm. the man of god is Imagine the head that. of the ushers mm -hmm. the man of god is the head of the choir mm -hmm. the man of god is the head of other people's homes mm -hmm. i think people didn't hear what i said I said the man of God is now the head of other people's homes. He's the head of everything. Oh my God! He claims everything to be his. You see, some of these places, men of God, we can't even categorize them as churches. They are organizations. Yeah. We need to understand that whatever we call a church is Christ-based. Okay. But these are now organizations. And even if we want to categorize them as organizations, they are very dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. In an organization, you find structures. An organization is not centralized around one person. It has structures. Yeah. But what we see even in these organizations, even if you go and look where they register these churches, mm. they are registered as companies and people don't know it. Imagine. They are registered as publishing companies. So the books you guys are reading, okay, they are just from a publishing company. Everything is not directed to Christ. It's directed. That's why before you sing a song in church, you are under the anointing. Mm. Before you raise a finger in church, you are under the anointing. Mm. Before you also buy a tie in church, you also have to acknowledge the anointing of your father. Mm. And you realize that Christ is being removed mm. out of the sequence. Mm. Therefore, when you start realizing a lot of activities about ladies being asked for this, ladies being commanded to do this to show their uh, submission, their loyalty, and their allegiance to the leader, you realize these things are not matching with what is required in the Bible. Mm -hmm. It's because everything is not Christ-centered. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is centered around the men of God. And I want to mention about two things before we move forward. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about, the Bible says, 
those that know their God will do exploits. exploits. Yeah. But the current church is not doing exploits, but is being exploited. Mm. You're not hearing what I'm saying. The current church is not doing exploits. Mm -hmm. It's being exploited. If you are not exploited in your pocket, mm -hmm. you're going to get your woman exploited. Mm -hmm. If your woman doesn't get exploited, mm -hmm. you're going to get your kids exploited. Mm -hmm. If your kids don't get exploited, you're going to get your freedom exploited. Mm -hmm. Why have we come to this place? Because God says, my people perish because they lack knowledge. Mm -hmm. Key, keywords, my people. Mm -hmm. You see, our God is an no, all-knowing God. Mm -hmm. How come his children, we don't have knowledge? Mm -hmm. How come we, we are lacking knowledge? We are perishing. So what I want to say, Pastor, in this is, we need to remove all pastors as the canopy, the covering. Mm -hmm. It's about time we look at each other as brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. We can still respect each other under God as brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Because as far as we've seen, the moment someone is called mama, someone is called papa, there is corruption already being introduced there. <laughs> so far, I have not seen a perfect mama and a perfect papa. Mm -hmm. A papa is a rapist. A papa is an abuser. Mm -hmm. A mama is a very ignorant person that you know, doesn't even take care of the women. Doesn't even have time for the women. And if she finds time to speak to the women, she has to exploit the money before she speaks. It's like you're talking to a some woman. Mm. So when we talk about this subject, why the church is losing its way, we see the cancer is in the head. It's a brain tumor. Mm. We need to deal with the head. Yeah. The corruption is in the head. When we touch what the head has been captured, mm -hmm. when the head is released, then the people are going to be free. That's yeah. all I can say for now. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? A cancer. We need to get rid of that cancer and and and, and we will do our best how we can, can operate that. We're gonna cancer. cut it off. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> cut it off. We're gonna try and cut it off. Yeah. You know, like uh, we are now we are not against merchandise. But but let me go to that merchandise bit a bit because you are uh, head of merchandise, uh, Minister Scovia. This minister here was the head of merchandise. <laughs> Now, when these merchandises are sold, the money doesn't go to the church, it goes to the pastor or the prophet or whatever. It goes to their personal pocket. And they, these 